final hour of the proceedings today. It's been such a special day. Thank you for being here. But there's only real one way that you can end National Heathers Day, um, and it's with our Heathers! Woo! I'm going to jump right in. Um, we've spoken quite a lot today about how having different performers playing the Heathers brings out different energies uh, in the, the combination. You, how many combinations have you been in now? I don't know why, but that sounds absolutely filthy, doesn't it? <laughs> how, many, how many combinations of Heathers have you been in? Um, I think I've had, like, oh, I don't know, like 12 Dukes I think I've had with, you? Like, with covers. Oh. With emergency covers, like with Hannah going on yeah. and... With Ruby wow. joining the tour, yeah. something like that. Yeah, because I think I started way later than you, and I've had like five max, five or six yeah. or something. I have no idea how many like, like, Heather combinations of things. No, that's quite like, that should have been a question in the quiz. Yeah, yeah. somebody work it out. <laughs> um, right, let's jump straight in. Maddie, for you. Did you prefer the tour venues or the other palace audience? Um, oh, they were, they were very different. Obviously, like, this is more like up close and personal with everybody, but like the tour venues were a lot bigger. But like the tour venues, I mean, you know, we had a lot of non-con audiences, yeah. and it was kind of like the first few numbers, they were like, what is what this is show? On? Like, what the hell is going on? And then by the end of the show, they were like, oh my God, they, it's it. so much fun. But here, like, it's 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 comfortable, and you know that... You know we've instigated yeah. the scrunches again. Really? We, we gave them out today, so I hope everyone keeps them. So you're going to get bombarded with them today. Oh, okay. you, know, you can only throw scrunches, so don't throw anything else. No. <laughs> not on the face. <laughs> not on the face, not on the face. Um, Vivian, for you, how do you manage to perform Never Shut Up Again every day without losing your voice? Do you have any tips? That's from Emmy. So, yeah, I mean, we all um, nebulize, which is a fancy word for mm -hmm. steaming with cold steam and like salt, which is really good, like relaxes your voice. And do steaming, and then also you just have to build up the stamina because honestly, it is tiring. Sunday shows, Sunday afternoon, evening shows are just very hard, and you just mm. gotta uh, train. And we yeah. spoke about this in uh, the session earlier that um, Larry O'Keefe, our composer, just wrote these exceptional roles for women, and they're hard. And I don't know why, but the, you get a sense of the music because it's so bouncy and buoyant and upbeat mm. that it's straightforward. And actually, every single person that comes to play these roles, or indeed plays the music, talks about the, it's the word dexterity, but how difficult it is to sing it. Yes, but it's also rewarding, because like, the songs are so good. Like, <laughs> I don't know how you can write so many great songs in one show. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. They're all bangers. Yeah. Like <laughs> Jasmine, for you, what is your favourite thing about playing McNamara? That's from Jade. Oh, thanks, Jade. Mm -hmm. um, I just love everything about her. She's so fun and quirky, and like, I'm... I like to say that I'm quite a quirky person, so I kind of relate to that in a way. Um, but yeah, I think she's also got just like wonderful one-liners in the show, like the bathroom scene with Veronica when she's spitting out her pills and being like, suicide is a private thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, I just love her so much. Yeah. This question is so random. Let's just stick with you, just because I love a random question. Sure. You are. This is Blake. Blake uh, says, you are invited to a party with the dress theme, come as a character from a children's TV show, book or film. Who do you come as? Is Blake in here? I do. I do. I love it, Blake. Brilliant question. Okay. So, I grew up watching Pingu. Oh. <laughs> um, so probably Pingu, and I still watch it to this day because I find it so comforting. But like, it's, so I grew up in Hong Kong, and some of the <laughs> some of the people in Hong Kong, um, the children that I grew up with um, in the same building and everything, um, they didn't speak English. And in Pingu, they don't speak English either. It's all just <laughs> um, so it was kind of our way of like connecting with each other. We were both laughing at the same time. Oh, so I love it. Oh, Pingu, go on, Pingu. Um, yeah, yeah, Pingu. <laughs> Maddie, for you, um, again, this feels like a, a crime sentence saying this, but how does it feel to be the longest running Chandler? Are you the longest running? You're more than Jodie? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. What's the difference? I don't know how many, but... You are. You definitely are. It's me. I don't know how many is the difference, but someone worked it out. And... Do you feel a pressure? Do you feel, because it's obviously an iconic role, you get most of the iconic one-liners. Is there a, like, not fear, because you've obviously done it, 7,000 times, but is there uh, a pressure? Um, I guess to 
to an extent because like so many people like love the character and love like the like candy store and everything. So there's always that pressure behind like being like, oh my god, you have to be great every night. But I think sometimes you just got to take the pressure off yourself and mm. just be like, no, you've been doing it for this long. Like you, you're okay. Do you still get nervous at the, when before those screens open? Um, it's so it depends who's in really. If like family or friends are in, you're like, oh my god, I've got somebody I'm watching. But like it's more just like excitement every night. I think, yeah. and I think those nerves over time just turn into excitement. Yeah. So. Who for you? If you could play another character in Heather's, who would it be? Uh, Kurt Warren. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's we should just do it one Sunday show. I think we should. So. Yeah. Don't let them quote me for saying. I would love to spend roles. <laughs> like all of us could do like boys roles that would be so cool. Um, yeah. How about you, Donna? I kind of like to be Martha because she gets to eat crisps on stage, <laughs> <laughs> which is iconic. Um, <laughs> Or JD, because I'd love to be just like psycho on stage. <laughs> <laughs> all the bad JDs are actually lovely, aren't they? Yeah. It's so interesting to see them do something completely different. They're all actually, in real life, so light, so friendly. Can you imagine if you actually hired someone who was like that? Well, <laughs> I, I'm not going to name anyone, but there was a famous person who played it in the film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give a bash at Veronica one day, genuinely, because I love all of her songs, but... We haven't I, really done that yet, have we? We've obviously, the word not promotes isn't the wrong word, but we've, um, people that have understood roles have then played roles, but it'd be really interesting for someone that like, has played that, to then go to another yeah, role. And, yeah, and to be able to do, because I always bully Veronica on stage, to be able to like, receive... Well, here's your audition, let's do... Thank you very also, I would genuinely love to do like an ensemble track in this show. Mm -hmm. I think there's so many times where like I'm not involved in what goes on in the ensemble, and I always hear that they come off stage like, "Oh my god, the sun sort of fell over in this." It wasn't there. <laughs> but it's yes. Yeah, so, I don't know. There's so many different things I love to do. Well, never say never, um, Vivian. What's your favourite onstage mishap? Oh. 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 <laughs> um, oh, there's so many things, but um, yeah, the reveal. Maybe some of you have seen it. It does go wrong sometimes. What happens? Mm. <laughs> um, sometimes, well, one time, many would be from, but they really want to announce what I'm talking about. It. Um, one time, someone took up both skirts, sort of. Um, I wasn't in my underwear, but I thought I sort of was, because it was like half the red skirt was half open. So for the whole show, for the whole song, I was just like, whoa, what's happening? Have you thought both skirts have come off? I thought it was open and I was in the Oh no! <laughs> Oh. But you could see the shorts. Right. <laughs> um, but it was, yeah, it was well, I now have experience of doing the reveal. I did the reveal earlier with Izzy. Oh, it's yes. terrifying. There's a lot of pressure for that. Yeah, there moment. is a lot of pressure. Isn't there? Particularly yeah. in the show. Yeah, I was absolutely. just doing it here. Yeah. <laughs> and then if someone is off and someone else has to cover oh, that course. track, and that's always complicated. Um, yeah. But yeah, usually it goes fine. Usually it goes fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jasmine, for you, what's your favourite onstage mishap? Um, so far, I haven't really had one oh. myself. Oh. Just never. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Maybe tonight. <laughs> um, but it was the first night Dan um, sang Dead Gay Son <laughs> and he completely blanked the lyrics and started making up his own lyrics, which was great. Um, but I just, he was just like. What were they? Do you remember? It was like, um, they were do not fruits. Um, <laughs> Um, have you ever hit anyone in your, in your death? It's very close here, isn't it? I didn't it, realize how close yeah, I is. know. Um, I haven't hit anybody, but I did when I, when I died. I hit my head on the floor once, <laughs> and I had to like. It was on tour, and she was like, "Somebody get me an ice pack." I was like a lump on the side of my head, but I haven't hit anybody yet. So, okay. well, <laughs> sorry. Let's, let's, let's hope you don't. Um, so I'm sure I asked this question to the uh, guys over. That there's lots of budding performers in the room and people that are aspiring to be performers and that see um, these roles and these um, characters, the show, as a, as a perhaps a dream one day. What would your, if you could give them a kind of slice of advice, um, what would it be? Let's start with you. Um, yeah, just keep 
working really hard, but also believe in the dream because I think all of us sat here were like you once and like we thought, we just kept going and kept going and kept believing that one day it could be true. Like I, we're, we grew up, grew up in a different country. Like it's, it seems impossible, but if you keep going and believing in yourself, because you're gonna get a lot of people who won't be as positive or supportive um, as you want them to be, um, just keep believing in yourself and work. The work is the work. Of course. So, so, yeah. yeah, lovely. Lovely done. Um, I'd say have courage and be kind. I think kindness, we were talking about this backstage, but you can be the most talented person in the room. We were literally but, just talking about yeah. Um, but kindness goes a long way, like it matters um, to everybody, like you just want to be a good person and people will want to work with you if you're nice and friendly. And, yeah. I think particularly here as well, what you haven't seen, although I'm sure you've seen all the photos of backstage, but we're in a tiny theatre, folks, you know, it's tiny, everyone shares a dressing room, the, the backstage is that wall, you know, there is the wing and I think it it means that everything is intensified, isn't it? And actually, it's much harder than being in, say, a, a, being at like the Drury Lane, for instance, where you all have your own room. Um, and it's crucial. We spoke at the start of the day today. I asked everyone to go out there and meet someone and just introduce yourself to someone. And that is the, the kind of core of Heather's and what it is. It's kindness. And I know it sounds cliched and I know it sounds obvious, but it is the heart of this show. And it really is that beat that is the reason we're still here, I think. Yes. How about for you, Donna? Um, I think don't be so hard on yourself because I think in that, this industry it's so easy to be like, like literally you come stage and like, oh my god, I didn't sing that note right, or oh my god, I messed this up. But I think just, just whatever happens, like, let it happen, do you know what I mean? The right thing will happen in the end. And also, I think don't compare yourself to others. And that's, yeah, I think that's really important because there's thousands and thousands of people in this industry, but like, there's only one of you. So like everybody has something different. Someone might be able to sing a song the same as you, but like it's not exactly the same. So just don't compare yourself to anybody because no one's the same. Yeah, and that's the beautiful thing about this show. We're talking about the variety of performers that play the roles, and it's wildly different. Um, and I think there's a beauty in that. My favourite thing is coming and seeing what this combination brings to these roles, and you know what having a new cast in a week's time yeah. is going to do, and what that's going to bring. And, for you, have been doing this for a few months now, or for many years. <laughs> We're just joking about in 35 years we will still be here and Maddie will come out. Uh, she will be playing poorly. Um, but what that brings, what are you excited about for the new folks joining us? Um, I think just already, well, when we are rehearsals, like, someone says a line differently, like, very different to what we're used to at the moment, and then it's like, it changes then how we have to react to that. Because yeah. it's just completely different. So I think just new energies and just seeing like I said, seeing how the new people will change how we do it as well. Yeah. The things like you've got to bounce off each other and it's got to be as a whole. You can't just stick with like I can't just stick with what I've been doing on stage for the past however long. I have to adjust to the new people on stage. I think that's really exciting. Of course. Just to see that and feel that. Yeah. How about you, darling? Is there anyone in particular excited, apart from all of them, is there anyone in particular you're excited to work with? Um, Erin, who is playing Veronica. Um, she is a lovely Scottish lass. Um, yeah, her, because we get to share a dressing room together as well, so I can't wait to make a new friend. <laughs> um, but also, I think my relationship with uh, Toby, who's going to be playing Kurt, because um, we have a lot of on-stage moments together. Um, yeah, Kurt and Ram. And basically just everyone. Oh, I can't I love sing out to someone. But yeah. And you're all here till February. Right, which is amazing. Um, Vivian, what's the future beyond Heather's for you? What's the dream? <laughs> Obviously being here forever, forever. but beyond yeah. that, what's the dream? If in, a, in a year's time, where do you see yourself? I would love to finally make a Western debut. Um, that would be great. Um, I don't have a specific show, but like one day I'm gonna be in Hamilton. Be I can see <laughs> It's out there now. You heard it here first. Um, how about you, Maddie? Mm, I don't know. This is so cringe, but genuinely, like, just like, I mean, if I ever do leave Heather's in like the future, like, I generally, like, I don't care what I do. I just literally just want to be happy. I love that. Like, yeah. it's like it does. Like, actually, doesn't matter. Like, I literally 
could be in a coffee shop, but I just don't care as long as I'm still be singing. I'd still be singing (laughs) sermon, still doing candy store. Um, But like as far as like roles, um, I'd love to give a bash at like Regina and Mean Girls and stuff. We're just predicting the next five years. I know, it's getting it out there, manifest, but yeah. Amazing. Jasmine, finally for you, so where, in, what's the dream? Um, I'd love to be the first Asian Mary Poppins. Oh. Oh. I talk to Mary Poppins all the time, and, like Italian stuff, and I just love her, and I mean, Zizi Strong's fantastic, so I look up to her a lot. Um, yeah, I can see that, I can see that. Well, let's hope. Listen, we are so lucky to have you. Um, three incredible performers um, here t- taking charge of our ship and keeping it going. Um, we appreciate you, we value you. Please put your hands together. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is really quickly is um, we're going to have to leave again, which is really annoying, I know. But then we're all going to come back in and then we're going uh, to have a quick cosplay competition. And then instead of getting everyone on the stage, which is going to be a nightmare, everyone in the building, including all of the old cast and new cast, future cast, are going to go outside the front. I'm going to have a massive photo of everybody, um, if you would like to. Um, so, uh, we're going to ask you politely to leave, uh, and then come back if you are. Uh, but thank you one more time, put your hands together for our <laughs>